Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Tricky Maths Part 9. Consider the eight single numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Use the above numbers to form two separate four digit numbers. When you add these two numbers together, you arrive at the largest possible total. Find two possible numbers that would satisfy the above condition. Are there other numbers? Answer at the end. Find the product of the six smallest numbers in the table to the left. Answer at the end. The cube to the right has a volume of 64,000 cubic centimetres. If the teenage boy is four times the height of the cube, how tall is the teenage boy? Answer at the end. Write true or false for the following number sentence. Minus 2 to the power of 4 equals minus 2 to the power of 4. You can pause the video at any time for these first four slides and try and do the answer and I will continue on now and I'll give the answers one at a time for each of the four slides. For the first problem we have the eight digit numbers as we were given earlier. The answer. All you do is you take the eight and you put it here. Because remember we need the largest total possible. So the only way you're going to do that is if you put the 8 there, then you take the 7 and you put it there. Okay? Then you go for the next digit, which is the 6, and you put it there. You put the 5 there, and so on. 4 here, 3 there, 2 here, and 1 there. And when you add those together, you get 16,173. So that's the largest possible total you can have. Now the other question was, are there other numbers? Yes, there are. However, you still need the 8 first. You need the 8 first in that number there, in that four-digit number, and you need the 7 first here. Now the only difference you can have here is that the 5 can go up there and the 6 can come down here. The 4 and the 3 can change places and the 2 and the 1 can change places. So they're the only swaps you can make in those positions there like that. But you will still get the answer of 16,173. Find the product of the six smallest numbers in the table to the left. Answer. The six smallest numbers must include zero. Because you see here, if you look carefully, you'll see there's a zero. Hence, the product must be zero. Of course, anything you multiply by zero, doesn't matter how many numbers you have, the answer must be zero. Here is the cube to the right, which has a volume of 64,000 cubic centimetres. This boy is four times the height of the cube. So there's the height of the cube there, just from there to there. And this boy is four times that height. So how tall is he? Now, if the volume of the cube is 64,000 cubic centimetres, therefore one side of the cube must be the cube root of 64,000. And that gives you 40 centimetres. Because 40 times 40 times 40 gives you 64,000. Hence, the side of this cube, so that height there, is 40. There it is there, right? That's the height. 40 centimetres. Now, if the boy is four times that height, 
4 times 40 gives you 160 centimetres. So that's the height of the buoy. Right, true or false for the following number sentence. Minus 2 to the power of 4 equals minus 2 to the power of 4. Now is that true or false? Let's have a look. Let's take this section first. So minus 2 to the power of 4, that's exactly the same as minus with the 2 in the brackets or in the grouping symbols to the power of 4. This 2 is the only thing raised to the power of 4. The negative sign is not raised to the power of 4. Hence, this one here is minus 16. For the second one, minus 2 to the power of 4 gives you minus 2 by minus 2 by minus 2 by minus 2, and that gives you 16. Because if you multiply all those minuses together, you actually get a plus answer. So the left-hand side gives you minus 16. The right-hand side gives you plus 16. So the answer is false. They are not equal to each other.